Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to be going to Aaliyah's show. Doors open at 6 and the show starts at 6.15. So yeah, really excited. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I hope this room is a bit less echoey. This is a bathroom. I know it's weird to be filming <laughs> in a literal bathroom, but I like the lighting in here. Actually, I just remembered I forgot to turn on my ring light. I haven't been using a ring light in so long. Ooh, that actually looks better. Oh my god. Now I can't see anything actually. <laughs> this is kind of like a story time I guess. So the last clip that you guys just saw is basically me vlogging or trying to vlog. I didn't really follow up with that. <laughs> when I arrived at the event I was overwhelmed by so much that happened. First of all I don't want to like invade anyone's privacy. They're all just there to enjoy the event and stuff. So I decided just not to like shove things, shove things? No, that's not what I meant. I decided not to shove a camera in anyone's face. We're just gonna do a story time right now and explain to you guys, because a couple of people asked me to talk about what happened and why I took a group photo with some of the cast members. I guess this is where I start now. <laughs> okay, so, Leah's event, right? A few weeks ago when I was in Ecuador, Leah had posted about an event that she was going to be holding in Toronto and thankfully this event was happening after I came came back from Ecuador, so July 5th, right? Which is a few days ago now. I was really excited to go, but I never expected in a million years that so many of the other cast members would show up. I just wanted to go and support her and stuff and obviously hear her music. So, you know, the whole cast showing up and stuff was just a plus. So now fast forward to the day of the event. I was incredibly stressed out for some reason. Like the entire day, I just felt very tense and I didn't know why. I just knew that like I had to get to the event. I wanted to to get there like on time or a bit earlier but that didn't end up happening. I decided to take my dad. I had an extra ticket. My sister couldn't go. We arrived there. I wanted to go back home and get like my book, my Anne book, just in case if any of the Anne cast were going to be there I could like get them to sign my book because I've done that a lot of times now. The show was supposed to start at 6.15 but we arrived there at 6.16. <laughs> so one minute after the event was supposed to start I just walked in there. My dad had to like park and stuff so we didn't walk in there with me. I'm gonna explain first like the venue of the event. So it's a restaurant basically and then there's a little like room that you go into and that's where the event is. I see Leah's name on the door and so I enter it. <laughs> I immediately make eye contact with my friend Bizan. So I met Bizan at the Family Fan Day event. I've talked about this in my previous like story time video of meeting the cast but she actually didn't get to meet anyone that time because of the fact that she arrived later thinking that the event was going to be held from 12 to 2 right? like the whole me and Greece stuff. So she actually didn't get to meet anyone. But anyway, so then I see her, right? I mean, like, like make eye contact with her. I'm like, okay, I have my friend there. Like, I know I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> I didn't know who else to expect out of fans and stuff, but no one else was there that um, I could talk to and stuff, like, fan-wise. It kind of sucked to see, like, no other fan there, but the good thing is I had her there, you know? I start walking towards her, and then I think I turned and I saw Kyle and Jacob standing on the other side of the room. The room isn't very big, just to remind you guys. So I saw them standing on the opposite side of the room. I was like, oh, they're here. Like, that's cool. And then I think after that, I saw, I think it might be Kia Wentio, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce her name properly. And I wish I would have asked her that when I met her, but she's going to play an indigenous character in season three. So I saw her there. She was like behind Bizan, right? And I was like, wait, what's going on? What? So I started talking to Bizan, like we hug. She introduces me to her dad and stuff. And then <laughs> Bizan says, oh yeah, I think some of the cast are like here I've seen some of them already and it's like cool because I haven't like met them yet and I was like yeah that's so cool and then I like start looking around the room and then I see I notice right next to Jacob and Kyle is Lucas and Shannon. I feel kind of embarrassed recreating that reaction that I had because I wasn't expecting them at all. Not that they like shouldn't be allowed to go to places like that, but I just wasn't ever expecting to meet them, obviously. So I think Lucas's back was facing me. I could just tell it was him. And then I also saw Shannon right next to him. So obviously it was gonna <laughs> be him. But I turned to Bizan. I hold her arm as I say, Lucas is here, holy sh 
and I'm probably gonna mute that or bleep that out because I don't really swear. I said it in a very like quiet voice, so just in case, you know. I wasn't gonna shout that out, but yeah, it, I was shocked. I was shook. She said, yeah, he's here. I was like, cool. But then I received a message from my dad asking me like where to enter from because he didn't know where to go. Then I went to like the entrance part of the venue still inside the restaurant and I texted him back. I have these events completely confused in my mind now so I don't remember what happened next but <laughs> it was either that I spotted Kyla from the restaurant. We made eye contact and we smiled at each other and then she came in and we said hi. And that was like the first time since like last year that I have ever talked to Kyla and it was like so nice seeing her again especially because the last time that I saw her was at the premiere and she said that she knows who I am or like she thinks she wait what did she say she said I know you right so it was cool to like <laughs> get to say hi to her and stuff and then after that so I was texting my group chat that I saw Lucas there because we have a very huge history I know this is gonna sound really strange but we do have a very huge history with Lucas because of the blonde Lucas theory if you don't know what that is, it's iconic. And so I was texting and with the GC about like, Lucas and Shannon are here. I look up and I see, and we make eye contact. Lucas and I made eye contact and I felt very awkward because <laughs> I was literally texting them and that happened, so. Yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> so then my dad enters the venue and I introduce him to Bizan and Bizan's dad. Bizan and I are like thinking of how to like go up to the cast and stuff and like talk to them. We were freaking out obviously, like this is every fan's dream is to like be at an event and hang out with people they admire and stuff. So. <laughs> And so we decided to like promise, okay, we're gonna somehow, like this is gonna happen, we're gonna take a picture with them or we're gonna talk to them or whatever, right? We just pretended to like talk to each other. Not like pretended, but like we were just trying to casually seem like we were okay. So then the first performer came on. I didn't take any videos of the performer. I'm not sure if I even took photos, but she was really good. I didn't want to really record because I was so captivated, enthralled by the music that she was performing. It was so good. It's kind of like my type of music, like the type of music I like listening to. She was amazing. So then while the first performer was still, you know, performing, Glenna actually arrived. I saw her, you know, hug everyone and that was really cool. After the first performer was done with her set, I went up to Glenna and I hugged her and we said hi. Then after that, like immediately, because Leah was right next to Glenna, I ended up saying hi to her and I asked her for a picture. We took a picture <laughs> and if you guys can like notice something really off about this picture, it's the fact that my my dad actually had his thumb, you know, over the lens. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And yeah. Then I talked a little bit to Leah and stuff. I wanted to know how she got inspired to start a YouTube channel. She said that it was because it was a very good way to promote her music and stuff. And she just really likes the support and feedback that she gets from her videos. And then I ended up telling her about my YouTube channel for Anne. I always like, for some reason, whenever I talk to a cast member, I guess, like I always try to like put that in just because that's not something I like brag about, obviously, in my regular life. It's a good conversation starter, I guess. If you are familiar with YouTube, then that can be like a very cool thing to talk about. A lot of teenagers, you know, have people that they look up to on YouTube, including myself. I'm not a teenager anymore though. <laughs> I was a few months ago. So yeah, that's why I brought it up. And also I am proud of what I do. So I wanted to mention that to her. And that was obviously something we could relate because we both have a YouTube channel. So then, as I said, like Bizan and I were making it a point to take a picture with the cast. And so I went up to Glenna and I asked her if we could do that. <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty comfortable like going up to Glenna and asking her and she's like a real, she's a homie, so. She's a homie, she's like really cool. So I ended up going up to her and asking her if we could take a picture. Then <laughs> the thing is I said, hey, is it okay if my friend and I could take a group photo with you guys? And I turned to like get my friend and she was gone, like she disappeared. I was like, oh, and then, you know, so then we decided just to do it afterward, after the whole event, just so that it was like a little less hectic. So then I finally found Bizan again and I told her about the plan. And then the second performer came on, which I think 
think, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Leah's sister. She was amazing. She had this rock feel to her music, a very different feel to first performer, and they were both like equally amazing. So then Bizan and I decided to like get closer to the front. We weren't like that close, but we were like a bit closer than we were during the first performance. Leah, Glenna, Kyla, Kia Wentio, I think. Oh, Ella as well. They decided to stand next to us. Leah was literally right beside me. <laughs> they were like jamming out to the music. Bizan and I were just standing there like it was like so cool getting to see them, you know, really enjoying themselves. I was like, what am I doing here? What is my life? I know people would, I don't know, people would do anything to like stand next to them and stuff, but I was just like, how is this real? <laughs> but I was like in my head throughout the whole thing. Ezan and I were both wearing jean jackets, and so we were both sweating so much. At some point during Leah's sister's performance, Amy Beth actually shows up. I turn to Bizan and I tell her, and she starts freaking out. That was so cute. So then after Leah's sister set finished I went back to my dad and he said he needed to go back to the car so he did and so I just stayed there with Bizan. Leah's set is about to start she was the last performer. Bizan and I we go back you know into the crowd. Lady Beth was like standing right in front of me and Kyla was standing right in front of Bizan. I had the opportunity to say hi to Amy Beth and we hugged and then I introduced her to Bizan. They hugged and it was so funny because Bizan was like acting so like chill and stuff but then <laughs> right after we stopped talking to Amy Beth she was free me out so much and it was so cute and I was like really happy for her. So Leah's set starts and she was just incredible. I was like wow. Like I was blown away by Leah's performance overall and she's amazing. She was like dedicating her songs like each song to someone special to her and it was so cute. And also like the entire time I was just thinking like what am I doing here? You know, like I felt like I wasn't supposed to be there in a way. It was just, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It was kind of like we were all in this huge party. Bizan and I were just partying with the ANCAST in a way. It was just so bizarre. So then after Leah's performance was over, all the ANCAST members went into like this circle and they all started talking to each other and it was very overwhelming <laughs> for both of us. So something I know you guys probably don't really get to see a lot is Amy Beth and Lucas interacting, but like they interacted. I got to see Lucas and Amy Beth interact. It was monumental. <laughs> That's something people probably don't see a lot, but it happens, guys. They do get along. <laughs> I went up to Glenn again and I asked her if we could do the photo and she was like, yeah, and then she started like telling everyone that we were gonna take a group photo. So then we all kind of like got into a photo and I was like in the middle and yeah, that happened. So that's a photo I posted on my Instagram. I asked Bizan's dad to take the picture and he did. The only thing I can remember from that picture is the fact that I was standing front and center and I could hear someone like scream at the back. <laughs> it was Lucas and I thought like in my mind, why is he yelling in the picture? Afterward, I ended up noticing when I played back the, the live feature thing, he had picked up Shannon and then he like yelled and I'll probably probably show it here right now. <laughs> That's literally the only footage I have from that experience. It was pretty random, but there you go. So then after I took my picture with the ANCAST, Bizan took a picture with them, and then I got to say goodbye to Glenna, Kyla, and Kia Wentio, the new cast member. I got to congratulate her for getting the role and she's so cute, like she's so adorable. She's like, thank you. Yeah, I was really happy to, you know, say that. Getting to see Glenn again and see Kyla again and getting to, you know, hug them and be in a really cool surrounding was just awesome. And then I waited for Amy Beth to like talk to some fans that had approached her and asked her for a picture. After she was done talking to them, I went up to her to say goodbye and I asked her for a picture. We talked very briefly and then we said bye. And then I went up to be zen and we decided to get some water because we were dehydrated we were very very dehydrated the water was free so that was really nice and then after that we just left the event and everyone else kind of stayed around stuck around but we decided to just go and i had to like obviously find my dad like i wasn't gonna leave him there for eternity <laughs> then i said goodbye to be zen and her father and then I went into my dad's car and then we drove off into the sunset because it was like 8.30 I think when the event was over. But yeah, so that was my whole experience I guess that you guys asked for. I hope it was sufficient. I hope it wasn't disappointing. I don't know. <laughs> but it was really nice. It was really nice seeing everyone again. I really wish I could have talked to Kyle when I met him at 
premiere. He was an absolute sweetheart to me, so I really wish I could have talked to him, but I didn't get to. I didn't get to talk to Ella, and I haven't actually really talked to her. And also, I really wish I would have talked to her. And also Shannon, in spite of her not being a cast member, just by like the way she presents herself on YouTube and on Instagram, I can tell she's a very, very sweet and lovely person. So I really wish I could have talked to her. We also have the whole Spanish thing in common because I'm fluent in Spanish and she's also fluent in Spanish. So it would have been great to like go up to her and talk to her, but I was just way too nervous to do all that. That was my whole experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> and after this portion of the video, I'm actually going to show you guys some clips of Leah performing because I did film that part. Like I did film a lot of her performances. So I'm going to show that right after this. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for always watching. I would say follow me on all my social media accounts, but I'm currently on a break unless I've already like gone back on Instagram or something, but I'm currently on a break from Instagram. I feel like with everything that has been going on, these last couple of days I've just been having a lot of emotions that I need to deal with outside of social media so I'm kind of just taking a break off of Instagram and I'm still like kind of on Twitter but I'm very like discreet about it I'm trying to be because I really just want a break from the fandom in a way I do want to continue posting videos it's just something I am very passionate about and I don't think I would ever stop unless I you know get to a point where I can film but I'm not at that point yet thankfully but yeah so if you guys want to follow me on social media please do so that was a very long explanation <laughs> knock on wood for Selma and I'll see you guys soon now on to Leah's performance thank you for being
Oh, baby. 